Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I transform this box into a one of a kind for my husband, better known as Amori. He likes bold colors and is a fan of abstract artwork. So let's see if I can accomplish something that he will absolutely love. I painted the box in white using Waverly chalk paint. I applied two coat of paint and I sand the box before I painted it. I want to make sure that I get rid of all the roughness in the wood, especially in the inside, because I am going to be transferring images in the inside of the box. Let me show you how. I first printed these images in my printer and I made sure that I printed them mirror image. And that's going to help the wording in the images transfer correctly. That's very important, especially if you have letters in your image. Now you can print them in color. You don't have to do it black and white. I just decided to do it black and white because my husband likes black and white pictures. Okay, so I am going to be adding the Mod Podge photo transfer. Let me show you how I apply it. I use a sponge brush. I put a lot on my brush and then I apply it on the image, completely cover it with it. You have to really apply a lot. It's kind of covering the whole image. You want this photo transfer to work. I did some research before using this product and that's exactly what they say, to cover it completely. I like to use gloves as well because I don't want to feel my hands sticky. And this is, I don't know, it's chemicals, so I rather protect my skin. You can hardly see the images now. And that's the key, to completely cover it. Now I printed it in black and white, but this product works also in for color print. Now I'm going to apply on the surface as well, just a little bit, not too much. Now I place it down and with this Cricut tool, I am just pressing, but not too strong. I don't want the paper to rip. You can use a credit card or something flat to just smoothly get rid of the bubbles. And I did that on both sides, on the top part of the box and the bottom. I'm going to wait 24 hours and then with water and a sponge, I came the next day and I wet the paper completely. And you can see how it's transferring the image. It works really good. making sure everything is wet and that I can see the image transferred. Then I'm going to, with my finger, I'm going to just rub and get rid of the paper. 
because the image already transferred to the box, but we want to get rid of the paper now. After I completely remove the paper on both the top part and the bottom part of the box, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to apply a thin coat of protection. I might use Mod Podge clear matte finish or something else, maybe something stronger that will protect the inside of the box. This part of the design, it's not a surprise. He knows that I am placing the images of his grandkids and niece inside of the box. So it's not gonna be a surprise and I know that he's gonna love this part for sure. I can notice some part of the images didn't transfer it perfectly, and it's okay. I like the look. And now I'm going to decorate the top. And I'm using this. I did this in the computer, and I am going to be transferring it to the box outside. First, I'm going to cut it to size using my paper cutter. Now, this is just my design. You can do whatever else you want, something else you can do. You can even print something, an image, and, and um, use it to decorate the box outside. Now, to be able to transfer it, I'm going to use this pencil and I am going to just trace, kind of like coloring the back of the paper. And what this is going to do is that this is, use, I'm using this as a transfer, like carbon paper, kind of. So I'm just going to trace on the outline of all the images here, so they will transfer to the box. And then I'm going to start painting on and using um, different colors. Now, keep in mind, as I mentioned before, Amori loves color and he likes more like um, an abstract kind of art. And so I decided to just do this. Now, my inspiration came from Brito. I don't know if you're aware of his artwork. He is an amazing artist. And he is um, a local artist. He lives in Miami Beach. And his art gallery is here in Miami Beach, in Florida. And he is my inspiration, and you'll see why. I'm going to be using a lot of colors. And basically, the colors are primary colors. And the shapes are very simple shapes. And he used black to outline all the shapes so i'm not brito i know i'm not i'm just using his artwork as inspiration and that's what i love about art it's just you can get someone else's idea and implement them in your own unique ways i'm using this mounting tape to trace lines across and to be able to keep them in the same distance. I'm going to add circles all around my box and I'm going to make lines on the other side of the box. 
this is the way I see design. I like to keep a balance always, trying to balance both the colors and the shapes in a cohesive way. As you can see, I did the waves on the top, the yellow and the blue, and then at the bottom, the green ones. And that helps to keep a balance as well. Adding more lines throughout the box and adding more color to make it more fun. I love using these acrylic pens. They help me to stay in the lines. It's so much easier than using a brush. Did I mention that Romero Brito is originally from Brazil? I thought it was appropriate to play a little bit of a samba in the background for you. Let's have fun and enjoy. I continue outlining the shapes with a black sharpie and I added more lines. I used a pencil and I erased the pencil and then I traced the lines with a sharpie. And I'm going to continue coloring the box using more colors, alternating the colors and just having fun. Something I want to keep in mind is to leave some white to have negative space in my design. So I'm leaving the white on purpose. Now as the final step, I'm going to protect the whole box using 
a clear coat that it's great. It's by Dixie Bell and it's called Gator Hide. Just want to make sure that the whole box is protected and I regretted using this Sharpie. It smears a little bit, so I don't recommend you to use a Sharpie. And I end up painting the whole box in red because Amore likes red better than white. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments how do you like this kind of artwork. And until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.